people this is your girl blue nola in the building to do another reading i hope all is well in your world let's get into this tea this actual situation involving eva marcel and her husband michael sterling but before we do don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to drop your feedback as you're watching this reading right and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and to all my regular devilers thank you for coming back thank you for your support on this channel which is blue nola tarot my second channel chat with nola podcast right here on youtube and my instagram we be having a, a good time on instagram so thank you so much for your support so today we all learn, right, that Eva Marcel had filed for divorce on March 23rd from her husband, Michael Sterling. Some people were like, um, what's going on? I'm shocked. I thought they were happy, right? This wasn't on my bucket list. This wasn't on my 2023 checklist, right? Other people were like, um, that does not surprise me at all. Not at all. And then other people in the chat, of course, they always have three sides. And those other people are like, you know, you know. I hope they can work it out and reconcile. Oh, fourth group. We don't give a damn. <laughs> why are we in these people's business? But they're on every single blog reading all the tea. But why are we in these people's business, right? Then you got that fourth group, child. You got to remember the fourth group. They do that right here on YouTube, too. They'll come here and say, why are we reading on these people? We don't care about these people. But they'll watch the whole reading. So I never, I could never understand that idea. But okay, we're going to go ahead and just get refocused. So Eva Marcel files divorce from uh, Michael Sterling after five years of marriage. This is on the shade room. Um, so it says, TSR breakups. I like to cite where I'm coming from, the sources. Actress and model Eva Marcel has filed divorce from a husband of five years, Michael Sterling, according to court documents obtained by the shade room. Eva filed for divorce on March 23rd in the Superior Court of Fulton County. Court documents state their marriage is irretrievably broken. And then divorce court, there's something else. They come through talking about, we here, we are here for you if you need us, Eva. Call divorce court before you head uh, to Real House of Atlanta, child. <laughs> it's so messy. So they so divorce court said, we, we got you covered, baby. We got you covered. So we're going to kind of touch this and see what's going on. And, I, you know, I, I'm, I like them as a couple. And so for me, I, I kind of feel that this, this is a little bittersweet for me. And I've kind of followed Eva's career from America's Next Top Model until now. Um, and so it is a little bit bittersweet. And I, I just feel like it's sad for the family, their kids. They have beautiful children. And, you know, Mike, I think I even just mentioned Mike, you know, adopted her oldest daughter, which I thought was a beautiful thing. And so now they're no longer, you know, she's saying it's not, it's not, you know, it's not something to work out, even though Mike... You know, it's saying he would love to work it out. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I even saw before I got on here that she made a statement saying, please give us our privacy. You know, we, you know, we just want to work towards just, you know, being good parents and co-parents. So Spirit, give me the energy around Flower Child Eva Marcel and her husband, Michael Sterling, politician. Um, The energy around their marriage and, you know, the energy around what happened. Um, the energy around if, you know, they'll have a reconciliation. Give me the energy around Eva Marcel and her husband, Michael Sterling. This is a tough decision for her time. So when they were saying this is a tough decision, it's in her two of swords right here. This is a tough decision. I'm going to be honest. I feel like the relationship has run its course. They have the death card. They have the sun card in reverse. They have the hermit card in reverse. The two of swords in reverse. Something that was once a happy thing for them. A happy relationship. A happy marriage. This is a person who has checked out of their marriage. And again, the decision does feel difficult. But the decision feels like it's something that's needed. Sometimes when you look at messages like this, especially for married married person, this person is not happy. Right? Sun energy. I'm not happy. I'm not feeling satisfied. I feel like I'm not in my purpose, right? Um, I feel like I'm not, we're not having fun. I feel like something's, the connection is not there. They even have the death card, guys. And again, the death card is this, you know, this, this relationship has ran its cycle. Also, this represents a person is, I don't want to hold on to a marriage just because, for the sake of being married. Again, I don't want to create an illusion. I'm not happy. In that hermit energy, too, that talks about withdrawing, 
not the right fit. This looks like a person who just felt like this just wasn't her life anymore. And even in her nine of pentacles, this is somebody who's doing something for themselves and uh, for herself. And this is a person who's deciding, you know, he's not a part of my next journey. Eva Marcel is a journey person, if you haven't realized that by now. Hence the Hierophant, right? That's somebody who's going to actually go through cycles and reevaluate their life and their situation. And she knows how to leave a situation when she needs to leave a situation. She considers her marriage with Michael a blessing. She considers her children a blessing. She's uh, grateful for the experience and the journey. And I think Michael, the relationship with Michael served a purpose. It's, it, fit, it fit a need for her because that's what this also represents. It fit a need for her. Sometimes, you know, as, as people, we go through pro uh, phases in our lives where we're ready to settle down and have something significant. Then we go through another phase in our life where we want to be free and live in our purpose. Then we may come back later down the road and get reorganized again and decide we want to have maybe a long-term partnership, right? But this truly looks like a person, and I'll, just, I'll show you the cards, the two of swords, a person that has some indecision about it. You know, tension and anxiety, indecision. I feel she did talk to her husband about it, even though he wasn't in agreement with it. I don't feel like he was blindsided by this at all. Um, and this is probably why he went out into the blogs and said, you know, I love my wife and I'm going to see, you know, if we can work it out. That page of swords is also confirming that, you know, he was told about it. Um, he was hoping that she wouldn't do it, um, that she would change her mind, change her mind. But when you see that page of swords, this is a person who's restless. This is a person who's ready to move. Their energy is restless. They're ready to move forward. Right. And so. Um, this is what this represents. So I do feel she did talk to him about it. I don't feel like he's completely blindsided by it. I think he definitely felt like he hoped she would change her mind and she did not. And I'm going to say this, if, if somebody wants to be, if somebody wants to go, you let them go, you let them go, especially with that two of swords in reverse, that person is already saying to themselves, a change is needed. This is a person who wants a sweeping change, a change that may be disruptive, but it's completely necessary. That may cause some chaos, but it's it, at the end, that person is looking at down the road, right? Big picture energy. Hermit energy, I feel lost. I feel like I'm in a marriage, but I'm not completely happy in my marriage. Not so much the kids, but in my marriage, right? So this is what it looks like to me, okay? Now I'm going to ask a couple of little straightforward questions, and then we're going to end this. And y'all can drop, drop down in the chat. And um, tell me if there's something else you want me to ask about. Is did Mike Sterling cheat on Eva like during their actual marriage, the last five years? That's what I'm talking about. You know, now Eva, a little hot girl, because I, I didn't see Eva kiss girls. I didn't see Eva kiss guys. You know, Eva little spicy tomato. She do look a little gaunt though, like she's lost too much weight. I don't know what's going on with that. But has he cheated Michael Sterling on his wife and his situation? And I don't, I don't see in here, and again, this is not set in stone. I don't see in here right now where there's been some infidelity, okay? Again, this may be, again, a a person who, again, even he's not filling my purpose. He's not filling up my cup, right? You know, that's what that represents. Now, um, this also, let me say this too. They, they have financial, and I'm not saying they're broke, but there's financial issues here. And we remember having, hearing about some financial stuff that's here. So they've had financial issues before. Let me tell you, with a woman, with a man, with financial issues, baby, they will start disconnecting from you. If you not pulling total weight in the marriage financially, a woman will start pulling for you from you. A woman will start feeling like they're like they don't need you. A woman, the baby, any moisture we have sexually for you for for sex is dries up, chap. As soon as we start feeling like we gotta keep jumping in and, and jumping in and jumping in. Right. And that page of wands also too. again, the same thing going different directions. I don't feel that I don't feel that um, I don't feel like there's I don't see cheating here. I do see that Mike may have, may, may have needed to be a little bit more in tune with his wife's needs. But also, too, sometimes when people make up their mind, there's nothing you can do. Even in that night of swords, he's scrambling. He's scrambling, trying to figure out, oh, shit, like uh, yeah, catfish. You know, Eva's kind of like a little unpredictable energy. Eventually, if they decide to go through with this divorce, he finds his peace in it and he understands it. 
at the core of it, he's going to do what's necessary to make sure they co-parent well, they get along well, etc., etc. It may be a little rocky at first, but things start to settle down. All right, now I'm not seeing cheating as much as I'm seeing like maybe he, you know, there's, there's just like, they just grew apart. She just grew from him, you know, two of wands. Again, I grew apart from him. I was bored, right? <laughs> you know, I'm bored. And then I don't want to stay just because, you know, it's comfortable and we have kids and I know I'm not happy and I feel like I'm, and also too, you know, in Eva's cards, you know, that sun card could represent a person who can be going through a little bit of depression too. You know, I'm not a doctor, I don't diagnose, but that's serious when you feel like you're really unhappy in your marriage. Is Eva, has she ever cheated in her marriage with Michael Sterling? Give me the energy around Eva. Somebody drew some messiness in my chair talking about some guy named Christian Keys. Did she cheated in her marriage with her husband? Give me the energy around Eva. And again, it's just for her, it's coming back as it's it's just dead for me. I just I'm not happy. It's still coming back to that. Maybe she'll tell you something different, but in her Knight of Pentacles, again, that just talks about I feel like this is not working for me anymore. Death card is back. And she's been feeling this for a while. Right? Even a star card. I'm not feeling it. I'm not in it. I, and also, too, she still has hope to meet somebody she feels connected to. So, unfortunately, she's just not in love with Mike the way she needs to be in love with Mike. Because this represents, once she takes her break, you don't be surprised if you see her with somebody else. Because this represents taking a This does represent taking some a, a, a break. A a break and then she's actually in another relationship okay uh, and this relationship is feels passionate um that's what it talks about i do feel like the divorce may go through they have justice on the back of their hand and that represents they may go through the divorce all right i feel again that things will be a little bumpy um confirm the energy again around eva cheating was she cheating on her husband Give me the energy around Michael Sterling and Eva cheating. Page of Swords. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was putting out rumors or saying stuff, just like somebody threw in the chat. Because she does have the Page of Swords, which could represent somebody being sneaky. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised if somebody, you know, I know I'm just messing with the lady who was in the chat. But for real, for real, for real, don't be surprised if somebody tries to say she's up to something. Because it is here. All right? It represents somebody who could be manipulating, deceptive. We, this this represents gossip, okay? Um, that's what that represents. And again, that's the, the strength card is coming out. Um, so it's something that she won't be able to control. It'll just be people talking. But in some something may come up with that. Right now, I'm not going to sit here and say I see her actually cheating. But there's some sneakiness in there. There's something, something to that chill. All right, so... I'm not going to do any readings on the kids or anything like that. So what's next for um, Eva? I know she's on this show about being a madam or something like that, child. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to go check it out. Give me the energy around Eva. What's next for her? Is she going to be okay? Tower card. Ooh. Ten of wands. And the nine of wands. So she will experience a tower moment, which means her foundation is being shifted. Right? shifted but with that ten of wands and that nine of wands she'll be a-okay -okay. this talks about they'll make arrangements they'll work through the experience you know they'll be able to they'll figure it out again and this is a person who's showing uh, also too she wants some freedom y'all this looks like a person who wants to be freedom so she, she'll be in her life you know almost like kind of you know i've heard of like okay i want to be back on my own again i want to be in my own place in my own space i want to be able to just do me and be me and not be accounted or held it not be talking you know this that and the other do what i want to do go where i want to go when i want to go this is what it's representing it looks like eve is gonna you know kind of focus on career too along with her children all right so right now i'm not seeing like just complete infidelity um we can revisit it another time i'm not seeing it at this time i do see some little deceptive manipulation in there a little bit something but right now i'm not gonna you know say that i'm seeing like a full-fledged situation i just wouldn't be surprised if she came out with somebody sooner rather than later sooner than old michael sterling okay all right don't be surprised <laughs>
This is your girl, Chris Blue Nola. I'm out. Peace and blessings. And I wish them the best of luck. Again, uh, they have justice in their energy. They have some energy that will su that suggesting that they may truly go through with this divorce. And, you know, we wish them the best. And, and if they decide to come back together, that's a beautiful thing, too. There's nothing set in stone. I always say that, right? I always have this saying. I always put this for my client. Can you change the outcome for your readings? Always. Your future is not predetermined. You have the free will along with the right and the responsibility to exercise it. This reading should never be accepted as the absolute prediction of things to come rather than encouragement to make sure that you're on the right path or a warning that you may be on a destructive path. So nothing is set in stone. Okay. Have a great night. Thank you. And you can always drop questions that you have in a chat if you want me to do a part two on this couple. I think right now this is enough. Right. Um, and again, we wish them the best. Peace and blessings. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, I have three more dates in April that are on sale. The special is still going on. I think it's the third, the fifth, sixth. I think it's the fifth through the eighth. So don't forget www.bluenolatero.com. www.bluenolatero.com. Peace and blessings. Bye.